Hi everyone, I'm Doc Ken and welcome to the Living in the IT Era, Chapter 1, Introduction to Information and Communication Technology, Part 2. ICT has four key aspects. Just remember the acronym EB or IT Bulaga. E stands for Economic Development, E stands for Economic Sector, E stands for Education, and lastly, B stands for Business or IT. At the present time, ICT has become a serious part of economy. When we talk about economic development, it's all about the well-being of the country. It's all about quality of life of the people. The development in the economic today is now affected by mobile signal infrastructure because today we are now living in the IT era. People are connected through World Wide Web through Internet. If the availability and accessibility of the internet connection is poor, there will be effect on the economic development of the country. As of today, in the Philippines, I cannot say that we have a strong connectivity when it comes to internet compared to other countries like Singapore and Japan. They have strong internet connection because of their strong mobile signal infrastructure. Here in the Philippines, especially in the rural areas, the internet availability and accessibility is very, it's poor and sad. Also, we are now using ICT as mode of connection in terms of crisis or disease management, like the pandemic that we have been experiencing right now. And in terms of mobile devices, I don't see any problem with that because most of the Filipinos have their smartphones except in education sector. That's a different story that I'll be explaining on the third part of the lesson. ICT plays a significant role in development of each economic sector. As of today in this pandemic, we are now using ICT most of the time for us to sell necessary things or goods such as foods, clothing, gadgets, and other necessities. And these manufactured goods are being delivered through Ankas, Lalamove, or Grab, also using ICT. Also, in terms of related service, such as tutors, review classes, or other related services, these are now offered online. So through this, there will be growth in the digital economy of the country. In terms of education, Teachers must be skillful and competent enough to use these uh, devices or tools in the pedagogical approaches in the teaching and learning process. Teachers today are now using ICT to present their lessons in innovative ways like what we are doing right now. I'm using ICT for me to teach, for you to learn, and for us to have a mode of communication because we cannot go outside because of COVID-19. But the sad part here is in the Philippines, especially in rural areas, some cannot afford gadgets or data for them to connect and to have internet connection because it's too much expensive for them. But if this problem will be fixed or will be solved, there will be development in the Philippine educational system. As of now, the Department of Education, in collaboration with the politicians in different areas in the Philippines are now distributing tablets for the students and laptops for the teachers. In terms of business or IT, which is related to economic sector, different devices has also have different architectural designs. And different architectural designs have different prices or value, which greatly affect its system. Architectural design is the concept that focuses on the components or elements of a structure. This is the process of maintaining and adopting an existing software architecture to meet changes in requirements and its environment or based on the needs of the society. Technology runs our lives these days. Smartphones, tablets, and computers we really can't seem to function without them. 
in a very short amount of time technology has exploded in the market and now many people cannot imagine a life without it to understand how we left the dark ages to where we are today it is important to understand how technology evolves and why it matters evolution of technology level one from tools to machine by combining a set of tools humans have come up with a machine capable of transporting not just objects but also humans thus the concept of vehicles nowadays become more of a necessity rather than a form of luxury hi everyone um doc and welcome to living in the it era so today's session we'll be talking about evolution of technology level one level two and level three first let's discuss level one from tools to machine so example of tools we have here no? as you can see we have screwdriver applies yabe no so what's the purpose of this madali lang po mga mama at sir dali lang po ito po pwede niyo pong gamitin adjustable po siya kung makikita niyo pwede niyo rin pong luwagan at sigipan at ang pinakamaganda po po dito mama at sir pwede niyo pong gamitin ito pang self defense pokpok niyo po sa ulo saksak na joke lang huwag niyo pong gagayahin niyan okay so from the invention of tools it leads to creation of machine such as this one electric fan so through creation of machine and through creation of tools technology evolves Miriam Webster dictionary defines automation as the technique of making an apparatus a process or a system operate automatically evolution of technology level 2 from programming to automation another type of machine that is nowadays considered a necessity are computers it operates under the control of instructions stored in its own memory it is capable to accept data and manipulate data under specified rules through software programming then it becomes automatic so let's now proceed to level two of evolution of technology from programming to automation meaning automatic so you have to program first the software then it becomes automatic okay so um, let's proceed here Amen. Turn off the lights, please. Ball of crystal. Change color. Turn on the lights. So it becomes automatic. And lastly, level three, intelligent system. Intelligent systems are technologically advanced machines that perceive and respond to the world around them. Intelligent systems can take many forms from automated vacuums such as the Roomba to facial recognition programs to Amazon's personalized shopping suggestions. One of the latest inventions in the automated industry is the creation of an intelligent car which is capable of driving and parking itself. Let's now move on to the last level, which is intelligent system. So here, machine is capable to think, to act like human beings. So let's have a good example using this cell phone. Hey Siri, what's the weather today? Siri, so good. Hey Siri, what's the weather today? Hey Siri, what's the weather today? It's currently clearing 29 degrees. What's your favorite color? Hey Siri, what's your favorite color? Software doesn't usually get to choose one, but I'll say yellow. 
old. It's green. Oh, it's the color of the nature. This is a good example of intelligence system. Okay, another one. Last but not the least. Alright. Ito po ah. Nakita nyo po. Papagalawin ko po yung camera na yan. Tignan nyo po ito ah. Ito po ah. Ito pa. Ito pa. Wow, magic. 